Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Garmin tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to become a Garmin firmware beta tester. And what that means is you will have early access to the firmware, the software that is ran on Garmin devices, which means you could have access to early features on your Garmin watch. Now in this tutorial, I'll be showing you first where to find the beta software and where you can download it directly from Garmin, and then how to install it on your Garmin device. It's actually very simple. It does, however, require the use of a computer or a Chromebook. So you can't do this with your phone alone. You have to have some way to plug the charging cable from the back of your Garmin watch into a computer and then transfer files to the watch. So I'll show you how to do that. Additionally, before we get started, it's important to note that if you follow the steps in this tutorial, you are running beta software. So it may not be as stable. It may not work as well as final released versions of firmware. So you may run into issues with your watch if you do this. So that's just something very important to note before you follow the steps here. All right, so the first thing we need to do to get started is simply go to our computer, plug the charging connector cable into our watch, and then the other end into the USB connector on our PC. All right, so I'm on my computer and I have my Forerunner 245 Music here. And I do want to point out that you can do this with just about any Garmin watch. So what I'm going to do with my Forerunner 245 is simply plug it into the computer with the charging cable. And then once it's plugged in in the computer or your Chromebook or MacBook has recognized it, go ahead and open up your file explorer or whatever you use to see the files on your computer and look for its folder with the title of your watch. So mine says Forerunner 245 Music. If I open it up, I can see how much storage space is available on my watch and I can even see the different folders from there. Now what we need to do is go to a web browser and go to forms.garmin.com and check the description because I'll have this link down there as well as a detailed write-up in case you get lost. So Garmin uses the forms to kind of communicate with the user base and the beta testers about the different software available and any issues they're having on their watch. So from here, what we need to do is select the type of watch. So if you have a Garmin Instinct, you'd want to check outdoor recreation, but for a Forerunner or a Vivo Active, something like that, you'd want to go to sports and fitness. And then you could see how they have it separated down here. They have all the Vivo Active, Vivo Move, and then the Vivo Sport watches. Then if you go down to running and multi-sport, they have all of the Forerunner watches. So I'm going to select the 245 series right here. When you go in, there may not be a beta version for your watch available. And that's because either your watch is too old and they're no longer supporting it, or they just released an official version of software and they don't have a beta version ready yet. So if you go there and there is a beta version available, usually you'll see it at the top. So as you can see, Forerunner 245 series beta 4.06 is now available. What I need to do is select into there. It has links to it based on my model of the watch. So they have the Forerunner 245 and then the 245 music. You want to make sure you download the correct one. There are some notes right here about beta testing, some of the firmware update notes. What did they do for this firmware update? And this is pretty cool. They added some widgets. They added a new feature, which is a heart rate alert for low heart rate. So that's pretty interesting. And then they fixed some issues with it and then other bugs. So it might be a little bit more stable. Below that, they have the installation instructions. And it's very simple. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just select the Forerunner 245 music link right here to download the, the beta version of the software. Now, if we scroll down to the instructions, we can see that all we really need to do is unzip the file we just downloaded, take out a file and that's titled G update and then just put it in the Garmin folder. That's all we have to do. The watch will kind of do the rest. So now I have two file explorers open. On the right, I have the file directory on my watch. So there's the Garmin folder right there. And then on the left, I have the downloaded file. Because this is a zip file, it, we do need to extract all the files from it before we can do anything. So I'm gonna right click it and go to extract all. And on a Windows computer, that will create a new folder. So I'm gonna open the folder up I can see the G update .gcd file right there. I'm gonna select it and then just drag it into the Garmin folder. So now when I go into the Garmin folder, I can see that file that I just added in there. And now we can disconnect the charging cable from the watch. And when you disconnect your watch from your computer, it'll come up on the screen with an update available. As you can see, you can see the version number. That's the beta that we just downloaded. So you can go ahead and install it now by selecting install now. You also have the option to install tonight while you're sleeping. I'm just gonna go ahead and install now. It'll prepare the update and then it will go through the process of installing it to the watch. The installation of the beta shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. 
All right, so as you can see, the software has been updated to 4.06. It shows some of the features that have been added, virtual run activity, pretty cool. And it shows you how to use it, where to navigate to actually see that. Additionally, when I go to the system settings and go to about the watch, I can see that I am running 4.06, which is the beta version. So that's how you become a Garmin firmware beta tester. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Garmin tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.